What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So I'm super excited about today's video because I'm actually going to go meet two of you. So two girls who follow me reached out to me via Instagram. They said that they were going to come to the UK to go traveling. I think they're going to see a little bit more of Europe as well. But the UK is their first stop. They're staying in London and they asked if we would like to work out with them while they're here. So I asked them to contact Becky so she could like organize the whole thing because yeah, she's really good at that. <laughs> and today is the day. I'm actually in a really big rush right now so I need to like hurry up, but I'm going to meet Becky at her place. I'm gonna drive there, then we're going to pick them up from the train station and then head over to the gym for a workout. By the way, their names are Haley and Christina. I believe they're from Texas, so they're American. And yeah, it's gonna be cool to get to show them Birmingham, although it's definitely not the most glamorous of places and it's super like rainy and dreary out today. Um, I'm wearing this right now, but I'm actually going to put a top over it and that jacket right there. Yeah, I definitely need to dress a little bit warmer today. I'm all ready to go now. Of course, I'm running a tiny bit late, so gotta get going, but I'll give you guys a peek into my gym bag. It's really gross and unorganized. I actually have to like make it a lot better, but um, I've got my lifting shoes we're gonna train legs today because that's what the girls want to do a uh, gym check foam roller and i've got a few shaker cups because i want to give everyone some pre-workout because this is such a good pre-workout for leg day i showed you guys this in my last video definitely not like all natural or anything it's got a lot of caffeine so i only use a tiny bit and i'll be careful to give everyone else only a tiny bit if they want it but yeah deodorant and some bands, and that's pretty much it. Today is an extremely gray day out. It's actually kind of weird weather. It usually doesn't rain and have like torrential downpour here. It kind of reminds me of Canada, to be honest. I didn't feel like wearing super bright colors, so I'm just wearing the camo set Gymshark and the ballet crop top, I believe this is called. Confidence boosting my <laughs> Okay, so I just made it to Becky's. We're still on time. It's all good. Yeah, I'm just really excited to get to meet the two girls. I'm a bit nervous, but I think it will be a really fun day. I think after we work out, we're gonna go get some food. We're gonna go to Morales Kitchen. So that's somewhat nearby the gym. It's kind of like a healthy meal prep restaurant and the guy who runs it his name's paul he's absolutely amazing he's like one of the nicest people i've ever met and he's just really passionate about his work and his business so it's always really nice to see him and the staff are all super nice there as well so it will be cool to get to bring Haley and christina there too so yeah <laughs> hello patrick hello
guys a little explanation of what was going on so because there was four of us we couldn't really do one exercise at a time otherwise there would be three of us kind of like standing around waiting while one person completed their set and the rest of periods would be way too long so i decided to split us up into stations um so the first couple of stations were the hip thrusts that you guys saw and then the sumo deadlifts so Haley and i did the hip thrusts first and becky and christina did the sumo deadlifts we completed all four of our sets and then we switched we were taking our time in between sets to kind of chat and hang out and actually worked out really well because we were doing heavier weight for these two exercises so so it makes sense to take longer rest periods within reason the next two exercises we moved on to were actually my favorite of the entire workout so i did show a little bit more footage of each of them so the first was banded romanian deadlifts i haven't done these in so long and i really really love them i'm definitely going to be incorporating them a lot more often essentially the purpose of the band is to put resistance horizontally across your hips so not only are you getting the vertical resistance from the barbell that added tension across the glutes and it makes locking out at the top more worthwhile because you're actually pushing against something also i've been sleeping on the preloaded barbell curtsy lunges as well i love these they're such a great glute exercise and they are a really good option for a unilateral exercise to incorporate into your leg day next we set up two superset stations so the first was on the cables and that was squat pull through or squat through as i like to call them it's kind of a bit more of a glute focused cable pull through that supersetted with a cable squat and the other station was swiss ball hamstring curls and the 45 degree hyperextension both really amazing exercises honestly this workout was so good i was really happy with it and it did get a little confusing at that last station because we were doing like supersets but it worked out in the end and i think we all got in a really good glute focused workout now i shall hand you off to the rest of the video enjoy <laughs> interrupt this video to explain what's going on because it's a little bit confusing so we finished up our food we dropped the girls off at the train station and then becky and i went back to her place and we decided to take her dog patrick for a walk i had such a good time hanging out and working out with Haley and chris i honestly can't tell you guys how cool it is for me to get to meet you and spend time with you in person it's the best feeling and Haley had such an inspiring story she's restarting her fitness journey and it just motivated me so much they both have instagram and so I'll leave it on the screen here for you guys to go check out. But yeah, both of the girls were so chill and they're so easy to talk to. It just like made me so happy to spend time with like-minded people. I'm so grateful. All right, so you guys said that you enjoyed the dog content. So cue the cute dog montage in three, two, one. one week later since I last left off filming but I really wanted to vlog part of today because I wanted to fill this video out a little bit more and before I do anything I'm absolutely starving I really need to make myself lunch so I figured I'd show you guys what I'm making I've been having this salmon pita all of the time I'm obsessed with it like usual I always just get obsessed with one meal and then have it a whole bunch but in the summer I always want to have sandwiches and salads I just like having something nice and light and fresh
looks really good. So I am finished my lunch. I feel so much better and it was really really good not disappointing at all Okay, so the thing is today is Monday and I'm one of those people who I like to kind of schedule my Monday a bit low-key because I tend to do kind of a lot on the weekend because the weekend is really the only time that I have to spend with Ben because our evenings are quite rushed. He comes home from work at like 6 30 ish and usually I have work to do still and so we kind of eat and we might go to the gym together and then we just kind of like go to bed. So um, we tend to try to fit a lot of our errands and chores and then also time to see family on the weekends. So I end up being actually quite tired on Mondays. So I like to keep my Mondays low key. Sometimes I'll work out, sometimes I won't because I'll train over the weekend. Um, but I like to use it as a bit of a catch up day where I kind of like clean the house and get myself ready for the rest of the week and sometimes do some self care stuff. So I guess I'm kind of describing that my Monday is like my Sunday. Maybe I should make that official. Today, the only plans that I have was to clean my house. And then I did want to train my upper body today because I haven't done that in a little while. Maybe a little bit of back and a little bit of shoulders. But I'm just trying to decide if I want to train first or start cleaning first. The motivation is low for both. <laughs> I'm feeling a lot better. My mind is clearer. Now I'm just gonna make myself a protein shake and I'm gonna show you guys how I make that because it's not just protein and water because I find that disgusting. <laughs> frozen strawberry, half of a frozen banana. I'm gonna blend that up with coconut milk. And when that's completely blended and smooth, then you add the protein powder. I guess this is more like a protein smoothie than a protein shake. I'm gonna only add half of a scoop. And by the way, I'm using whey and I am dairy free. I try to avoid regular whey protein because I definitely notice that I break out because of the excess estrogen in it. I also have an extreme sensitivity to vegan protein. I just can't have vegan protein. It makes me really sick. And I've tried a bunch of different kinds. So to get around that, I get the hydrolyzed whey and this just means that it's broken down into really small pieces and it's filtered so 
everything that's left is the whey protein. You do have sweeteners and additives, which I'm not a huge fan of, but this is the only way I can have a protein that doesn't break me out and doesn't make me sick. So this is what I've been using. So by blending in the protein powder after you do the initial blend, you avoid the protein smoothie from getting all foamy. And I find when it's super foamy, it makes me bloated. So that's why I do that. So that's a good tip if you hate that foamy smoothie situation. But yeah, I'm gonna drink this and I'll check in with you guys in a bit. Just kidding, I actually didn't finish filming so you get me now. I think the video is long enough, so I'm gonna leave it here. I really appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss my next video, which is going to be coming a lot sooner. I'm really sorry I had such a mental block when it came to editing this video. And I also have been working on my UK visa, which has taken up so, so much of my time and it's been very stressful trying to get all the little details right. So yes, you'll be seeing a lot more of me soon enough. But yeah, I will catch you guys later. Bye.